The past decade has brought about major shifts in footwear. From the athleisure invasion and rise of resale culture to futuristic innovations and a greater push for sustainability. With the 20s right around the corner, we wanted to highlight the 10 most influential sneakers of the last 10 years. Following December 2011's riotous release of the Air Jordan 11 Concord, Nike's super-hyped Air Foam Posit 1 Galaxy caused sheer pandemonium at all stores around the states, resulting in long camp outlines, fights, arrests, canceled releases, and backdooring. News outlets documented the chaos that ensued, compelling Nike and retailers alike to re-strategize how they release sneakers. Since then, we've seen initiatives like in-store raffles and a rise in digital drops through mobile applications like sneakers. For two good years, the Roshi's minimal, heavy cushion design and low price appealed to everyone, making it one of the first democratic sneakers of the modern era. It released in tandem with Instagram's rise, making it one of the first sneakers to gain its popularity through social media. The Roshi-inspired brands did not consider a new genre of footwear, but how social media can create hype. After a decade of little innovation in running footwear, Nike introduced the industry-shifting Flyknit technology with the Flyknit Racer. It immediately set an industry standard where runners wanted the lightweight, form-fitting feel of a knitted sneaker, and brands enjoyed the cost-effectiveness of machine-built one-piece uppers. Fusion of the high-tech and minimalist design even excited fashion lovers, setting the tone for what we now call athleisure. After retroing the Air Jordan 1 High and its iconic band in Chicago colorways, Jordan Brand enlisted streetwear's godfather Hiroshi Fujiwara to produce a then-rare collaborative Air Jordan 1 selling out all over the globe and solidifying the world's love for this sneaker. This iteration helped rejuvenate Jordan's retro business, inspiring collabs with the likes of CDG, Virgil Abloh, and Dior. It's the sneaker that truly brought the world of streetwear and luxury together. For the first half of the decade, Adidas relied on its heritage to maintain relevance. But with the rise of athleisure, it was falling further out of the discussion around innovation and hype. The Ultra Boost changed all of that, throwing Adidas back into the conversation and becoming the most talked about brand in 2015. The Ultra Boost not only set an entirely new benchmark for performance sneakers, it helped save the brand. Although the Yeezy Boost 350 is Kanye's second sneaker model to release with Adidas, it's certainly his most recognizable. The 350's sleek design solidified Kanye as an accomplished footwear designer, leading to a myriad of new models during the second half of the decade. And while industry pundits will cite his impact or lack thereof on Adidas' bottom line, there's no doubt that Kanye reinvigorated the brand in the eyes of the young and fashionable consumer. Sustainability was a major push for the footwear industry this decade, and no brand championed this movement more than Adidas. Launching its Futurecraft division in 2015, Adidas unveiled the first 3D printed sole, an initiative that minimizes waste and brings bespoke footwear to any consumer in reach. Since then, we've seen Futurecraft partner with Parlay to weave ocean plastics into its shoes, in addition realizing a fully recyclable sneaker, the Loop. If you asked anyone before 2010 what the future of footwear would look like, you'd most certainly get a reference to Marty McFly's Nike Mag and its auto lacing technology. Nearly 30 years after Back to the Future Part 2 premiered this space age innovation, Nike brought it to life. Now available in performance sneakers and rebranded as a DAP, this technological milestone signifies the close of an era and the commencing of another. Before Virgil Abloh took the helm of Louis Vuitton's menswear division in 2018, he sat atop the footwear industry with 2017's The 10, Nike's largest collaborative sneaker collection to date. The 10, represented by its most coveted pair, the Air Jordan 1 Chicago, not only marked the culmination of streetwear and luxury that began with Fujiwara's Air Jordan 1, but it also renewed the true concept of collaboration and DIY customs. While fashion was becoming more technical and sporty, a counter-movement inspired by dads began pervading the world of style. Footwear, however, remained democratic, allowing these normcore practitioners to keep one foot in the door of contemporary fashion, and no shoe defined this moment quite like Balenciaga's Triple S. It took all of the dad shoe elements to their most absolutely ridiculous extremes, turning the heads of hypebeasts and fashionistas alike. 